In this lesson, we are going to look at 3-5 arithmetic sequences. Let's begin on page 67 in our notes. An arithmetic sequence is a pattern with your numbers, a numerical pattern. And it's going to increase or decrease at a common rate. This common rate is called the common difference, or D. So, for example, if I have these numbers here, 4, 9, 14, 19, and so on, I can see that the numbers increase by 5 each time. So therefore, there's a constant rate, increasing at a constant rate, and the common difference is D. The common difference here is a positive 5. A non-example is 18, 16, 15, 13. We have a, a difference of negative 2, a difference of negative 1, a difference of negative 2. So therefore, it is not a constant rate, and it does not have a common difference. Your common difference D can be a positive or a negative number, but this one here is not at the same or constant rate. So back to my example, the common difference is 5, and here, the non-example, there is no common difference. Let's continue with this example with a common difference of 5. There's a common difference of 5, and the very first term is 4. If you were to go backwards to position 0, this is like position 1, if you were to go backwards, I would subtract 5 every time. And so 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Keep that in mind as we look at our equation. The equation for this example here is a sub n equals 5n minus 1. So where did this information come from? This 5, the coefficient of n, is the common difference. So whatever your common difference is, that's going to go right here, the coefficient of n. What is n? n represents the number of the term or the position in the sequence. If I want to find the seventh number in the sequence, I could use this function to find what the seventh number would be. So I'd use my equation a sub n equals 5n minus 1. Remember, the minus 1 came from the position 0. Since it's the seventh term, I substitute n as 7. I have 5 times 7 minus 1. It really should be not just a sub n, but a sub 7 because this is telling you in the seventh position, the number is 34. A sub n is the number in that position. So A sub 7 tells me the seventh number in the sequence is 34. Let's look at another example. Which term of the sequence is 44? So in using the same a sub n equals 5n minus 1, what if I knew the number was 44 in the sequence? What position is that in? So I'm going to use the same generic, the, the same function for that example. But this time I know that the a sub n is 44. That's the number in the sequence. We're going to solve for n, because remember, n is the position in the sequence. So solve for n, adding 1 to each side, and then divide by 5, and we get that n is 9. In other words, the ninth number in the sequence is 44. 
if I wanted to, I could write this as a sub 9 equals 44 because that tells me the ninth number in the sequence is 44. Let's try some problems on your own to practice. Turn to page 66. And try these four problems on your own. Determine, first of all, if there is an arithmetic sequence. And if there is, what is the common difference or what is D? Then find the next three terms. Pause the video here to do those on your own. So if you have not done so already, please make sure you pause here to try them first. And then let's take a look. These would be the next three terms. The common difference is four. So I would find the next three terms. Here, the common difference is negative two. Find the next three terms. In this one, the common difference is one half. Those are the next three terms. And in this one here, the common difference is positive three. The common difference is three, and then the next three terms. Now what I'd like for you to do is using those same four examples, please write an equation for each of the four above. So again, pause the video here and write your equation for these four arithmetic sequences. Remember to do that, you need the common difference, but you also need the number in position zero. So you would go backwards with your common difference. Pause the video here. Okay, let's take a look. You should have paused the video. Looking at example number one, we said that the common difference was D, which is in number one, four. My equation should be A sub N equals four N. And then how do we get this part here? Remember, we go backwards to position zero. So if the common difference is positive four going this way, Going backwards would be negative four. Negative three minus four, going back to position zero, is what gives me negative seven. Pause the video again if you need to before checking the rest of your answers. If you've already paused the video, you can continue on to check the rest of your equations. And here are the equations for the rest of them.